Oh, hello. I uh, didn't hear you come in. Well, let me put that down. So, hello, and welcome to another fabulous video from the most fabulous crimson-shirted person to ever make a video about the topic of relationship dynamics. Not really sure if that's true, but, you know, I'm going with it. And this chapter is so chock full of stuff that I could talk about, from friendship formation to attraction theory to relationship building. I really could make about a dozen videos covering all of this really great stuff in here. But let's be honest. You don't have time to watch all of that, right? So let's just go with one concept. I'm going to discuss the fundamental interpersonal relations orientation, as developed by William Schutz. This theory basically says there are three dimensions to our behavior when it comes to relating to others. These three dimensions are actually needs. These needs are inclusion, control, and affection. Schutz tells us that we all have these needs at varying levels. Some of us have a high level of one or more of these needs, and some of us have a low level of one or more of these needs. After you watch the video, I want you to reflect more on this. Ask yourself, which of these three needs are most important to you? Which are less important? What does this say about the relationships that you form? The first dimension we'll discuss is the need for inclusion. This is the need we have to be included with others, this need to belong. If we have a high need for inclusion, we want to spend more time with other people. If we have a low need, we are content with a lot of alone time. Most of us probably fall somewhere in the middle. We like our alone time, but we also like to be included in the plans of others. The second dimension is the need for control. This is the need we have to exert power in our relationships in some way. Some people have a high need for control. They want to be controlling all aspects of what happens in that relationship. Some have a low need for control. They're willing to allow others to take the reins and make decisions for them. And again, most of us probably fall in the middle. We want some control, but not all of it. The final dimension that Schutz discusses is the need for affection. This is the need we feel to like and love others and to be liked and loved by others. If you have a high need for affection, you are probably very in tune with your emotions and want to share them with those you care about. A person with a low need for affection might be less likely to share these intimate emotions. And as before, most of us fall somewhere in the middle. Now, these three needs tie together very nicely. When we feel the need to be included, we will often fulfill our needs for power and affection. In the text, Gamble and Gamble talk about various terms, just such as abdocrat and autocrat and undersocial and oversocial. You don't need to know all of these terms. Just understand that we all fall somewhere on these three spectrums. And knowing where we fall will help us to build stronger relationships in the future. Okay, I'm taking me and my crimson shirt and headed off to fulfill some needs. Namely, the need to eat this applesauce. My tummy demands it. Have a great day.